Hello reading champions, how are you doing today? Are you still fasting Ramadan? That's great! Keep doing the great work in Ramadan and in every day. Are you ready today to read the next story? So, let's start! Number 3. The Pride of Iblis Allah made Adam and Hawa. Then he called the angels and said that he had made a man who was called Adam alayhi salam, and he had made a woman, who was called Hawa or Eve, and he wanted them to live on earth. The angels were very surprised. Men will spoil the earth. They will destroy it. They will fill it with evil and fighting. But Allah is all-knowing and all-wise. He knows all the secrets of heavens and earth. He has made everything and knows the true name of every single thing he has made. Therefore, Allah taught Adam alayhi salam the names of all things. Allah called the angels, then he asked the angels to tell him the names of all things. But the angels did not know the names of all the things. The angels said to Allah, We do not know the names of the things you have never told us their names. We know only what you told us. You are the all-knowing and wise. Then Allah called Adam alayhi salam and asked him to tell the names. Adam alayhi salam told all the names as Allah had told him. Allah said to the angels, Bow to Adam. All the angels bowed in respect to Adam alayhi salam except one. His name was Iblis. Allah asked Iblis, Why don't you bow to Adam? Why don't you obey me? Iblis said, I'm better than Adam. You made me of fire, but you made Adam of ordinary clay. Allah said, Get away from here. I curse you till the day of judgment. Give me respite till the day of judgment, begged Iblis. Iblis said, I will tempt people to sin and lead them away from the right path. Allah said, You can tempt people as much as you want. True believers will never listen to you. They will never get tempted. I will always guide them to do what is right. You will have no power over them. Allah is the best guide. He is the protector. He guides us to the straight path. He never lets us go astray. And that's our story for today. Thank you all for listening and see you tomorrow, inshallah.